hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of niche my name is eros and we're currently in early access version 0.2.1 and we are here with a family and we currently have messy which is the first and i think only daughter that adam and eve have had and she is about to have her first baby um she met hugo in the last turn and hugo was a wandering male that um has joined the pack and he actually has the h immunity um, that he's adding to the family and nobody else has H. And then we have, let's see, we have Snow and Frosty, which are um, the children of Ranu and a wandering female, but unfortunately she has already passed away. Her name is Ivy and she was sickly and she was older and unfortunately she didn't make it and Ranu is kind of like over here, kind of sad. Um, and there is some rustling over here, which I think might be bunnies because there is a little bunny thing right here, but we'll definitely keep an eye on it. And we have so many berry bushes, guys. We have so many berry bushes. It's insane how many berry bushes that we have. But we are going to skip the turn and see what type of baby Messi has. And oh my goodness, look at you. All right, so we have another little boy and he has collecting three, speed four, cracking, swimming, um, two eyesight, hearing, and smelling. Um, and he, oh, he did get the H immunity from his dad right here. Um, he also has this very interesting orange eyes which I think look really cool. He has orange eyes. He does have hemophilia in both of his slots, which isn't the best, but he does have that H immunity that his dad has. Um, he has no pattern. I think he's the first creature that we have. Yeah, the first creature that we have with no pattern at all. And he does have these very interesting um, orange eyes. <laughs> um, let's see, maybe we'll name him Sunny, just because he has this very unique, like, orange eyes and orange fur and no pattern at all so little sunny has been born which is kind of funny because we have like snow and frosty over here and then we have sunny who <laughs> is very interesting over this way and then i think we'll have let's see we'll have adam kind of like run over here to be like what's this rustling all about and then we don't find anything but we did find i think another berry bush did we not know about this one yet oh, i don't think so uh let's go and have you look around we have another berry bush so many berry bushes so little time and we will have ronnie um kind of investigate maybe he'll have him another berry bush are you serious are you serious right now so many berry bushes <laughs> um tata can actually collect the berries that are right here there we go so many berry bushes oh my goodness um ronnie will collect the berries that are right here and right here, there we go. And Hugo, um, let's see, you can actually, let's see, we could have him, let's see, we could have Eve kind of pop over here and collect some of these berries. And we could have Messy pop over here and have, let's see, can you, they can't mate, um, Hugo. Why don't you jump over here and then you can mate with Messi and we'll have you collect the berries and Messi can look around this way and that's all she can do for now because she's going to have a baby in the next turn and I think, let's see, we can have Snow actually collect these nuts because her, him and Frosty are able to actually crack the nuts and then maybe we'll have Snow kind of kind of want her like over on this side all right so that was snow could be we can have frosty kind of like jump over here and that means snow can actually let's have him look right there so we do know there's another nut here and then frosty can actually collect these berries there we go all right so in the next turn messy is going to have her second child which i wonder if he'll have an interesting baby just like sunny with these really interesting like orange eyes and no like fur pattern in the each immunity that his father has all right so let's go ahead and skip the turn oh and it looks like we do have a mutation unlocked we have the orange eyes unlock thank you thank you sunny you have unlocked something in our family tree uh mutation line type of thingy all right so let's go ahead and skip the turn and let's see what type of baby we have we have a blue eyed no pattern little girl oh my goodness all right so we have speed four collecting two strength two swimming two i say two hearing one and spelling two we have A and H. We do have the H immunity. And we have these gorgeous blue eyes. We have normal, but we do have hemophilia um, in the secondary slot. 
Um, she also has red fur, and she has blue eyes in her secondary too. All right, so she does have another H immunity, which is the same as um, her brother, Sunny, who does have the H immunity, but he does have double hemophilia, which it looks like she only has single. Um, but we're going to name her, let's see, what would be, let's see, we can name her, um, maybe we'll name her Ember? I mean, she's not as orange, actually, but she does have the orange, or she has the red horns. Yeah, we will, we'll name her Ember. So we have Ember. So the two siblings that we have, we have Sunny and Ember, and then the other two siblings that we have over here, we have Snow and Frosty. So it'll be interesting to see how those, uh, those stories go. But we'll have Frosty collect this, and she's actually old enough to make the babies. But I don't know who we could pair her off with. Um, I think it would have to be someone that she is related to. B and A, let's see, or A and B. Um, is there anyone who, uh, F and G, I don't really want her father. Um, B and F. Uh, we do have A and F right here. And Tata, A and F. Um, Eve. This is her dad. Um, we have Hugo which isn't related to her with A and H. So I wonder, they might actually be good. All right, so I think what we'll do is we can have Snow kind of wander down this way and have Snow, oh wait, he is a boy. Never mind. <laughs> um. He's a boy. Uh, I, sometimes I forget things. Uh, so the only females we have are Eve, um, Frosty, his sister, and Messy right here. But maybe we'll have Messy and Snow breed together to see what type of babies that we can have. Uh, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. You're not a girl. You are a boy. You could breed with your sister. Um, B and A and B and F. Don't know. I mean, it would be interesting to see what they can have and okay, I don't know. We'll, we'll think about it. Um, <laughs> sounds so bad, but it's not as horrible in niche, um, as it is in like the real life. I don't think for them, to, for like families to breed, it's kind of something that you have to do sometimes in niche. Um, but we'll have Messy kind of like collect the berries and we can have her, if we could have her, okay, okay. I know what we can do. We can have Snow pop out, we can have Messy pop in, and then we can have them breed together and see what type of baby that Snow and Messy will have. And <laughs> so we have Snow and Frosty as siblings, and we have uh, Sunny and Ember as siblings, and then we're going to combine the two families, Messy and, Fro or Messy and Snow, and see what we get. So it's going to be interesting to see. Um, and then Tata, let's see, we have little... Poor little Frosty here. So, let's see. We could have her breed with Hugo, A and H, and then B and A. Okay, so this wouldn't be as horrible. So maybe uh, Frosty could wander this way and breed with Hugo. We'll kind of like do a switcheroo and like <laughs> switch around the mates a little bit. Um, but we'll have Eve. I think this is actually her last turn. Oh no! And then. This is actually Adam's last turn too, so I think we'll have Eve kind of wander next to her mate right there. I mean, found or did we already knew there was another nest over here. Um, we'll have Adam and Eve kind of like stay stay by each other, and we'll have um, have Adam kind of just look around this area, and then poor little Raro is going to witness the death of his parents which is pretty sad, but sometimes that's just what happens, and there is some rustling over there, which I think Raro would kind of, like, run over there, and then he'd be like, it's a bunny, I can catch it, and kind of, like, wander off into, like, the grasslands, and then we do have Ronnie, um, we'll have him, I will have him collect berries, even though he's not the best at it, but I do want to collect some of the berries, and then Tata can collect these berries over here, and we'll have him look over there. And 
Ooh, okay. So we'll have to see what type of baby Messy has in the next turn, and then um, we can have Frosty and Hugo breed in the next turn, too. Alright, so let's see. We have... Ooh, so we have another little blue-eyed baby, which is very interesting because um, Frosty has blue eyes, and now Frosty's niece also has the blue eyes. All right, so let, oh, you know what we can do? We can look at this family tree. So Hugo <laughs> has had a baby with Messi, and... They, all right, so these two babies are from Messi. Then he's going to have a baby with Frosty. And then Messi has had a baby <laughs> with Hugo and... And... Oh, wait. Hold on. Who? Cora. Okay, Cora is Snow. Okay, I got a little bit confused. All right, so... <laughs> you know, this family tree is getting a little bit crazy right now. Okay, it's a little bit crazy. Um... Oh no, and has Adam and Eve passed away? No. Okay, so we have this little girl right here. She has blue eyes. Um, and she does have, let's see, lightly colored horns. Um, yeah, she has black and white horns, so it makes this really interesting gray color. And she does have the blue eyes in both of her things. She has A and B immunity. Um, hemoph or normal blood clotting and hemophilia in her secondary. And let's see, she does have the three collecting and the cracking paw and her blue eyes. So let's see, what should we name her? So, Messy and Snow have given birth to Sandy, um, Iris? We'll name her Iris. I think that's a pretty name. We'll name this little baby Iris. And then we do have a problem. <laughs> um, and I think, yeah, Adam and Eve have passed away, unfortunately. And we do have a, a problem because we have this carnivore over here. So I think we'll have the baby run away as far as um, little Ember can way over here. Uh, but we're going to have Frosty breed with Hugo. So I think we'll have her do that and kind of run over. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted Hugo to stay. Okay, Hugo. Mm, okay, probably not the best idea. But we will have Frosty wander this way we will have little sunny pop over here frosty pop in here pick up these berries i'm sorry hugo i'm sorry <laughs> um let's see messy snow we could have tata run over here and start hitting this carnivore that we have and then Maybe Ranu, who has been kind of distant from his family after his mate passed away, would like rush in and hear that his family's in trouble and take on this carnivore. Uh, Snow, I don't really want Snow. Hmm, Snow's kind of important. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll have Raro. Let's see, could he, he could run here, run here, and then he could run like right here. Uh, he wasn't exactly as close as I wanted him to be, but he is in the vicinity. Um, and I think we'll have snow. There was, like, rustling over this way, too. I think, like, right here. So, little Ronnie. I'm gonna have you come over. Yep, there's a little bun bun. Um, why don't we have you just, like, look. There is, there, there is, there is the bunny. I'm standing on the bunny. I'm standing on the bunny. Ronnie has a new friend. Ronnie has made a friend with the bunny ronnie has a friend there's another all right well they're buddies now they're just gonna hang out um i think we'll have snow kind of just look over here for now i don't really want him to fight the carnivore i don't want him to take any damage unfortunately poor poor ranu and hugo and tata and then Fraro. okay and messy um you can have you actually come over here and breed with snow once again and then maybe see should she move to this nest or maybe the nest over this way mm -hmm. let's see maybe can she make it no she can't make it to this nest and there's the, there are the bones of adam and eve right there so sad so so sad okay and we're going to have to skip the turn and see what happens with this carnivore creature. And then we're going to have another baby with, um, from Frosty. And Messy is on her way to a nest, so she won't be able to have any babies. 
All right, so let's go and see what happens with this carnivore. Hopefully he doesn't cause too much damage. All right. Oh, it looks like he is wandering away. What? All right, so there looks like there is something right here. Um, intrigued. <laughs> Uh, who has the highest strength in the tribe? Does everyone just have two? Um, you have one, two, two. All right, so it looks like everybody kind of just has two or one. So there isn't anyone that's really like the best warrior. It looks like there might be actually like another creature right here, which I'm very curious about. So I think we'll have Ranu um, run over here. And there is a little girl and see she has h and h immunity and hemophilia and hemophilia she's not the healthiest little girl um but i think we will have we will have her join our tribe and i think that ranu would be like run away like i'll protect you like i'll save you um and her name let's see her name is Anna Mer or we're just gonna name her Annie for now. <laughs> Little Annie right here. Um, he'd be like, run away. But before they run away, like, they breathe together. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> they, they just, you know, it was an act of love. You know, it was a very tough situation. It just happens sometimes. All right, so Annie's gonna run over here and run in this nest. Um, and then uh, Ranu would be like, I got this. And he'd run down here and um we'll have hugo run over here and fight this carnivore and then we'll have raro kind of run over here and get a little bit closer and uh, we'll have him fight the carnivore here and then tata will run run over here too and fight this carnivore why don't you oh my gosh go away go away carnivore <laughs> all right so it doesn't look like we'll be able to kill him in this turn um, but it's interesting that the carnivore, like, ran, um, to get little Annie. Um, so Annie was saved from any damage, um, luckily. But we do have a new baby right here. We have a little boy with blue eyes. Um, speed four. Let's see. He has blue and violet. Um, he's normal in hemophilia. He has B and H. So he does have the H immunity, which is pretty good. And we are going to name him... Let's see, so Frosty and Hugo was it? Let me double check and see the family tree. All right, so Frosty and Hugo, yes. Yeah, so Frosty and Hugo had this little baby right here with the blue eyes, another blue eyed baby. So we are going to name you, we have so many like Ron or like Rons and Ronnies. We're gonna go with something totally different. Maybe we'll do another H name. Um, don't really know Herman. We're gonna name you Herman for now. We might change it, but I kind of just want to remember that there's H. There's an H in your immunity. Um, we'll have Frosty, or maybe let's see, Frosty. Yeah, I don't really know. We'll we'll name you Herman for now. It's good enough. Um, and here we have little Sunny. Um, we'll have Sunny. Let's see. You have collecting three. We'll have you pop over here, collect these berries. Um, and you, little Annie, you're gonna have a baby the next turn, which will be interesting. And then Ronnie, you're kind of just hanging out over here by yourself. Um, all right. So I think we'll have you kind of like look around and check out the area. Maybe pop over here, see what's going on. And then Messy. Oh yeah, you're on your way to a nest because you want to have a baby. You could pop back over here. Um... I don't know is that what we should do I guess I think the carnivore is gonna go away so we'll have her pop back in this nest collect these berries we'll have snow hmm he does have we'll have him come back to his tree for now and kind of collect this nut come over here and then I think let's see we kind of have frosty do some things I think we'll have her over here and collect the berries that are over there all right so hopefully none of our creatures will take damage from this carnivore but it looks like maybe tata will unfortunately take some of the damage 
Um, but let's go and skip the turn and see what happens. Oh. 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 This carnivore really wants Annie gone. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Annie, what did you do? Little orphan Annie. <laughs> oh, I didn't even mean that, but little orphan Annie here, who was adopted into this tribe, apparently, you know, this carnivore doesn't really like her, but she did have her baby. Um, so we have a little boy. Um, he doesn't have collecting. He's not very strong. Um, he has normal and hemophilia. He has H and F, which I think is different. Um, he does have an interesting coloration. He is lighter. Um, with this, oh my goodness gracious, it's a carnivore party. Carnivore party. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is going on? I think they're after Annie. I don't know what Annie did. Or I don't know what she did to somebody. I don't know what she did to the carnivores. But the carnivores are out for her. They are hunting her down. So we will have to explore this part of the story in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And oh my goodness, Annie, what did you do? Little orphan Annie, like what did you do with the carnivores? That's what I want to know. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!